Welcome back to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. Today, we'll be talking about the causes, treatment, and care for diarrhea in backyard chickens. There are several different causes of chicken diarrhea. Some are pretty normal and will resolve themselves independently, yet others can be problematic. And seeing it for the first time can be quite alarming. Later, we'll also discuss a chicken treatment checklist, so stay tuned for that. Before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and check out our website at thehappychickencoop.com for all things backyard racing. You can also subscribe to our email newsletters by clicking the button above for daily updates about racing backyard chickens and more. Before we start with the causes, it would be helpful to have a visual aid of what is normal poop and what is not. This is what a normal chicken poop looks like. Normal sequel droppings can cause great anxiety for a novice chicken keeper. After all, it looks nothing like a regular poop. It's runny, foul-smelling, and a different color. It is usual for a bird to have several of these sequel droppings daily. No treatment is required, except perhaps an air freshener. But if your chicken's feces look different and worrisome, then we'll discuss the possible causes for those and try our best to show you what they look like. Let's begin with the causes and treatment of diarrhea in chickens. The number one possible cause for chicken diarrhea is overindulgence. Like humans who have overeaten, chickens can be guilty of devouring a good thing. They might find their way into your fresh salad bed and reduce the lettuce to stubs. The price of overindulgence? Diarrhea. Simple supportive treatment is required. Diarrhea should stop of its own accord after 24 to 36 hours. Just ensure they have access to clean, fresh water with added vitamins and electrolytes. On hot days, hens will drink much more water than usual. Sometimes up to four cups of water. That is a lot of fluid. And in conjunction with a decreased appetite because of the heat, your hen will likely develop diarrhea. Treatment is relatively simple and easy. Ensure she has access to cool, clean, fresh water with added vitamins and electrolytes. She also needs to be put somewhere cool. Standing her in cold water will help to bring her temperature down. A fan blowing cool air and providing sufficient shade will help her tremendously. You can encourage her to eat by making a feed mash with cool water. You can just mix regular feed with water until you have a mashed potato consistency. That way, she will eat and get water too. If your hen takes antibiotics for any infection, she will also likely get diarrhea. Antibiotics kill off the good bacteria and the bad to deplete the gut of good bacteria. Ensure she has enough water with vitamins and electrolytes and good quality feed. You can give them probiotics to help restore the good bacteria in the gut. Although they cannot process dairy products well, a small amount of yogurt like Rooster Booster or a similar additive that contains vitamins, electrolytes, and lactobacillus acidophilus will help gut health. Another possible cause to look out for is worms. A massive overload of intestinal worms can cause gut damage and diarrhea. A sure way to find out is to take a fecal sample to your veterinarian. They should be able to perform the simple test quickly without too much financial pain. If they do have worms, you will need to treat them all. There are several different worming medications on the market. Choose one and follow the instructions carefully. There is usually an egg withdrawal period during which you cannot eat or sell eggs from the treated hens. Withdrawal time will vary with treatments. Coccidiosis can also cause your chicken to have diarrhea. This mainly affects chicks under 10 weeks, although in severe cases, it can affect adult chickens, especially ex-battery hens that have lived in wire cages. Since they've had no exposure to poop, they have no resistance to the coccidia. It is caused by a parasite that affects the intestinal lining and integrity of the gut. It impairs the ability to absorb nutrition, causing weight loss. Anemia can be severe from bloody diarrhea. Coccidiosis needs prompt treatment with a coccidiostat, or the affected chicks will likely die. You should consult a veterinarian if at all possible. You can buy a chick feed with added coccidiostat at the feed store. Treatment will also include clean food and water with added probiotics and electrolytes. The brooder area should be kept scrupulously clean to avoid reinfection of the chicks. Another possible cause of chicken diarrhea is infectious coryza. Infectious coryza is caused by bacteria that infect the upper airways of the bird. You can treat this disease with the appropriate antibiotics, so you need to consult with a veterinarian. It also spreads from bird to bird, so you should pay great attention to cleanliness in the coop and local environment. 
You should also isolate infected birds if possible. For an in-depth look at this disease, you can click this link for what you need to know about coryza in chickens. Another possible cause is too much protein. Yes, too much protein can also cause your chickens to have diarrhea. Kidney failure in chickens is becoming more prevalent because they live longer these days. It can be caused by a diet too high in calcium, low phosphorus, decreased water intake, or viral. Signs are dehydration, pale combs, depression, and emaciation with loss of muscle mass, and diarrhea. You should seek veterinary advice about restricting dietary intake for your hen. Hens are curious about most things, which can get them into trouble. While poisoning is relatively rare, it does occur. They are susceptible to mycotoxins produced by damp bedding or moldy feed. They can also be vulnerable to a wide range of plants and other toxins. Another thing to note concerning poisons, if you use your compost heap as a burial site for small creatures, make sure the carcass is buried deeply. Botulism can be produced by rotting carcasses and is deadly to your hens. Since it's usually hard to know exactly what they have eaten, you can try monitoring them closely. If their condition worsens, seek veterinary help. Another possible cause of chicken diarrhea is egg yolk peritonitis. And sadly, this is commonly fatal. It is caused by a malfunction in transferring an egg from the ovary to the infundibulum. The yolk becomes internalized and can quickly become infected. Any diarrhea produced will look like egg yolk. This usually leads to peritonitis and septicemia, so veterinary intervention is vital to give your hen a chance. Prolapsed vent, on the other hand, can be pretty noticeable. The vent can be pushed out of the body and become a prolapse. It can be caused by an overly large egg, among other things. This is an emergency and needs to be dealt with promptly. The hen will need to be separated from the flock since they will likely cannibalize her. And lastly, viruses. Numerous viruses affect chickens. They range from simple sniffles and diarrhea, which can last a few days, or range up to Merrick's disease and fowl cholera. A list of known viruses with diarrhea symptoms include infectious bronchitis, Merrick's disease, lymphoid leukosis, fowl cholera, avian tuberculosis, tuberculosis, and exotic Newcastle disease. It's best to work closely with your veterinarian to manage the diarrhea symptoms and ultimately treat these viral diseases in chickens. As you know by now, there are many causes of diarrhea. Some short-lived and easily rectified, others more prolonged in treatment, and some deadly. When should you worry about it? When you notice your hen has diarrhea, the first question is, how does she look? If she seems well and is eating and drinking usually, you can monitor her from a distance. Take a look at what's going on environmentally. Is it hot and humid out? Has your spinach bed been eaten? These types of things give you clues as to possible causes. If she looks poorly, isolate her in the chicken hospital and figure out what it could be. Go down through the list of causes and see if you can pinpoint something. Oversee her. If there is no improvement within a day or so, the veterinarian is the next stop. If you're uncertain, read her How to Do Chicken Health Check Guide linked below. Diarrhea depletes the body of water and much needed electrolytes, all of which are needed for a healthy bird. Be sure to replace both of these by using a vitamin slash electrolyte supplement in the water. If antibiotics cause diarrhea, try adding a probiotic supplement to help the gut recover its normal good bacteria. You can also try making a mash from the regular feed, mixed with enhanced water and perhaps a teaspoon of natural yogurt. A word of restraint here though, if your hen develops diarrhea, she's not likely to have something nasty like the Newcastle disease or tuberculosis. Go through our checklist and see if you can fit signs and symptoms with what's happening to your hens. Even if you can't figure it out, all the information you can gather may help your veterinarian put the pieces together. Diarrhea enhances something we all will deal with eventually. Hopefully, it will be a brief episode caused by a passing virus. But if not, I hope this video is able to guide you through the event. Please give this video some love by liking and sharing it with your friends. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and check out our website at thehappychickencoop.com for more backyard racing information. You can also subscribe to our email newsletters for daily tips and tricks in raising happy and healthy chickens. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.